Now it's been a while since I've talked about Rushdoor Fusion Monsters, and since my last top 5 Fusion Monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, more amazing Fusion Monsters have been released, either within the show of Go Rush, or just within the Rush Dueling format, and not appeared in any form of anime material. So let's revisit things and give you my updated list of my current top 5 Rush Dueling Fusion Monsters. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, of course. Now if you're wondering about Master Door Format Fusion Monsters, I've already done a video on that, so go check that out, link is in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get started by going off with the monster that's recently appeared in the anime series, Seven's Road Ultima Witch. Now this card had a lot of meaning and symbolism behind it when summoned within the anime. Plus its design looks incredible. I love how it takes features and similarities from Master of Sevens, yet still holds its own unique charm. The card art shines with personality, and I love the presentation both within anime and in card format of Sevens Road Witch, so the fact that they've now improved upon that here most definitely deserves a spot on this list. And when this card releases in physical format, you can guarantee I'm going to pay that money to get it. At number 4 we have Flower Fang Venus Mykia Entrancer. Now my favourite Rush Duel monster is Entrancer, so seeing a fusion of that monster already fills me up with joy, but actually getting this card in physical format made me like it even more. Now it's not the best card ever, and it's not going to win you a lot of duels, let's be honest, but at the same time we like what we like. But I do have to say, it is an absolute crime that we never saw Ranze use this within the Sevens anime. Oh, design wise and personality wise, both are 10 out of 10. Like, look how cheeky the design of this card is. It knows what it's meant to do, and it does it perfectly. Now, despite my many feelings against the character of Luke, one thing is undeniable, and that is how awesome his fusion monsters are within the anime. So, number three, we have Fantasia Strike Dragon. Mahi Star F. Now this monster's multi-choice effects are both amazing and you can either attack directly with those scrumptious 3000 attack points or you can lower your opponent's monster's attack points by 1500, which back in the day both were really useful. However nowadays you can combo this with Bluetooth Burst Dragon's effect. Yes, it does kind of make the multi-choice effect pointless as you lose uh, two of your targets for the double attack. But if Bluetooth Dragon does end up destroying uh, two monsters, uh, all the monsters on the field, because you've used the multi effect of this monster by lowering your opponent's attack points by 1500, then you automatically just attack directly with those scrumptious 3000 attack points. So you're basically using both effects to its full advantage, plus Bluetooth's getting a power buff. So, yes, you can have a lot of fun with this combo. Now, add on the word majestic, and that is exactly how you would describe this amazing card's design. It's still a gem despite many other great fusion monsters being released after its first initial showcasing. Nevertheless though, I rated this pretty high I think on my other list, and it still remains in my top 3 now. Now listen carefully as if I was saying a beautiful space poem, as this monster has a really long card name, but I love it. But I love it. And I love its non-fusion counterpart. So in second place, Prophecy Flail of Colours and the Wind, Butterflies and Flowers. Yep, that's a mouthful, but this card is a bit of everything, as you can destroy your opponent's monsters, shuffle monsters back into your opponent's deck, raise your attack points, and it can even allow you to draw a card. All of this without any type of requirement. Looking away from its effects though, and usefulness, we have a card that again, expresses a lot of personality. And one thing that I've loved with the Rush Dueling sort of format and anime presentation, is even when cards have been played, they have so much personality with the holograms. And even on the card art and designs, they still showcase that personality, and I love it when it does it here. It's definitely a stunning, gorgeous looking card, plus I like how it doesn't deviate too far from its non-fusion counterpart, it just looks like a better upgrade in terms of the design and of course the effects all around. Again, this is another card I'll be definitely looking to purchase when it finally releases. Now finally, at number one, we have a monster that even surprised myself, so I wouldn't be surprised if it surprised you as well, 
but I loved its debut and every time I see it on screen it looks stunning and I can't get enough of Void Valgir Apocalypse. A fusion monster that combines beauty and intimidation perfectly. Firstly, this card looks insane. Its anime appearance has been phenomenal. I love when they present this in the anime because the animation looks stunning. The monster is effectively a board wipe as it leaves nothing but itself and your opponent quivering in fear as you've just dark hold their entire board. It's made even cooler by having a character as badass as Zawijo using it as well. But yeah, this monster just has everything. Has that intimidation, has a beautiful stunning animation budget behind it, has an amazing effect, and all around, it's just what you would expect from that form of archetype. So there you have it. Those are my current top five favorite Rush Duel format fusion monsters. Again, let me know your favorites in the comments down below. And if you haven't checked out my other top five video where I look at the Master Duel format version of fusions, then go check that out. The link will be in the description down below. Other than that though, I hope you all have an amazing day. Subscribe, comment, like, all of that good stuff, and I'll be seeing you next time. Have a great day. Aligator, Matane, goodbye.